With the Taliban back in power, a local woman who worked in Afghanistan to reintegrate former Taliban members and women back into society is sharing her thoughts tonight on the American withdrawal. She spoke with our Tracy Sears about that. Tracy? Well, Ann Smith says watching the withdrawal of U.S. troops with her husband, who served two tours in Afghanistan, has taken an emotional toll on their family. In 2011, Ann Smith was living in Afghanistan, working with the Department of Defense on programs to help advance democracy and peace among the Afghan people. I had been one of the only Americans with boots on the ground in that in that area. Working in remote locations in small villages, she formed friendships, helped support the plight of women and children, and reintegrate former Taliban members back into society. When I was there in 2011-12, we did, once the Taliban land, laid their arms down, there was a program that they followed to be reintegrated. You know, they would take certain classes, um, they would kind of take steps to get back into their communities. It was in Afghanistan that Ann met and fell in love with her husband, Chief Warrant Officer Nelson Smith, who served in the Special Forces of the U.S. Army. My husband was one of the first teams in, um, in 2001. Now, 20 years later, after sacrifice and personal loss, both are devastated to see the fall of Afghanistan with the quick withdrawal of U.S. troops. I definitely feared the Taliban would take over. Um, I had no clue it would happen so fast. I fear most for the women and children. I fear most for the women who suffer mostly in silence. I spent some time in uh, Kabul in 2000 nine for the elections, and we did a lot of training of women for running for parliament, running for um, you know, various uh, uh, seats. And they were targeted then. I, I just, I can't, my, I cannot imagine what they're gonna be fearing now. Smith says she also fears for Afghans who worked with U.S. forces and for the Americans who are still in the war-torn country. I picture myself, that could have been me. We left Americans behind, and that is tragic to me that our own are there in the hands of the enemy. Now, as the Smith family watches thousands of Afghan refugees come to America, their hearts go out to the people that they've come to know and love. You're, you're talking taking someone completely out of the life they've known, everything ripped from them in a traumatic and horrible way, and then planting them in something, in, a, in an area, in a community that is so different from their own. Now, over the past few years, Smith says she and her husband have seen Afghans who worked closely with American allies come to this country successfully. She hopes the refugees coming today will have the same good fortune, but she says they have a long and hard road ahead of them.